we're going to address is how to treat that wall prior to installing these panels. Um, but yet, this is built in, and again, you got you got an ability to, to hide your screw head. There is no mud touch up on this. Literally, that's the beauty of it. I like that. Say the, well, that you grout. Now that that you're yeah, that's yeah. Now that, I guess there is some mud there, but that's just a little. <laughs> Again, I think what we've tried to do is to really simplify the installation. Go back to the time when they were chipping limestone out of the quarry, cutting the rocks, and then sticking them on the house, and then grouting them. And what about the culture stone, one at a time? You're installing this in minutes. Literally, boom, boom, boom. Now, on this particular one, you're probably not going to hit, um, but just set one there anyway. Oh, you're going to draw it up right there, aren't you? Go ahead. And here. There you go. Now, again, as I said, the universal capstone at this point, the ledge cap, is we've cut these stones so that we had that ability to right away install that. And again, as I said, we would countersink uh, four holes in this, drill the drill in, and then just touch it up with some of the grout mix. Do you have any of those that are continuous without the grout line? I could make them. I just wondered. You know, really on site you could do it. That's pretty universal, you know, it's uh, traditional. Yeah, yeah. Why not have one sure, that's continuous? Sure, sure, I agree, I agree. You know, if I was on site and they didn't want them, I'd just mud it. Sure. It's just, but you're right, it'd be nice to have a molded piece like that. Again, this, you know, David. Now you haven't sucked that up, right? No, it's loose. That way you can adjust it as you as you need to. I get them all upset here. Once get my hands dirty as well. I want more nice clothes. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Last all the time. Yeah. How's that looking, guys? Feel a little long? Well, if you're a little bit back, that's all right. That's all right. We were just looking at this. Were they supposed to be? Yeah, you leave a grout joint like that. Oh, I see. That's a little nasty, isn't it? That's all right. We'll make it work. Um, that's weird. I wonder if that's the right. Yeah, we check, I take the side so, before us so it's this one. Okay. Um, draw it just a little bit more out. Right, probably. That'll work right there. That'll give us enough room to play it. Go ahead and just sink that in. Hey, Jim, you got some perfect reinforcement for this morning's class right across the street. Yeah, some guys brick by brick in this house. Right between here in the Mexican food restaurant, right there. Uh. <laughs> I was giving some guys a hard time. Little tiny bricks too, man. Good job. We got brick panels too. Meticulous. You know that? Four by eight brick. Oh, I figured. Makes it easy. Yeah. yeah. They were doing one of these on the job I was at yesterday, and I said, "Yo, you can do that in about two hours. That whole wall." <laughs> One at a time. It was nice stuff, though. The red, the red 
rock. So do you do a lot of different varieties of classes? Yeah. 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 How often do you do class? I haven't done one for about a year and a half, actually. Oh, really? This is a this one and the one I got next, uh, August 8th, 9th, and 10th, was two special classes that I sent out letters to all of our previous students alerting them to the fact that you know, I was going to hold two more classes. And uh, you know, I don't train classes anymore. The only thing I do is train distributors now. And our distributors then do the classes. So I'm just trying to... You built water features. Did you use liners much at all? I I did on occasion. It depended more temporal uh, water features than permanent. I like concrete. That's my medium for ponds. So does someone else do, you do classes here then? But someone else teaches it? No. Mostly across the. Yeah. Else. Yeah. This this facility usually has molds and pumps going off in it. This is a production. I took everything out of here because A, I don't want to have to kill you if you see some of the proprietary stuff. And then B, I needed some space. <laughs> I didn't want to be out in the sun, you it's know, because. Like <laughs> yeah. Mr. Walker. Hey, you want to ride in the elevator, man? Yeah. <laughs> or is that. Yeah, you got to drink that pop. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Where's it at? <laughs> Get it all sucked up. There's the corner piece right there that we're going to be holding up uh, or installing. They cut it, uh, so we're going to be making another corner here. These guys are still installing the, we got longer lags now to override my small column with too much foam. So they're getting those installed right now. It's upside down though, right? You got to, did you, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's important to flip the next row upside down from the other ones, that way you don't get a pattern reproduced. Actually, they have not done that. Hold on, hold on. I think, I think those are the same way. They need to be upside down. Am I right? Aren't these three the same? No, they're not. No, okay. No. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, there's three of them. If I wanted to sell these panels in Florida, I'd have to buy a franchise. No, I don't. I don't sell franchises. So I can open up a retail store for this product for all the stonemasons? Sure. But I don't want to do it. I just want to sell it. <laughs> I don't want to do anything manual anymore. <laughs> well, a little bit over out now. I can get more money doing that, can I? Oh, I'm thinking so. This is going to hit hard in Florida. We do a lot of stone, cultured stone. Mm -hmm. Your price is the same as all the other per square foot, you know? Yeah. But a lot better product. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.